Bismillah Rahman Rahim viewers, we are with next episode of War of Narrators. From today, we will be launching a very important series. We are we will be inviting Chinese company who are working in Pakistan under CPAC and out of CPAC. We will talk with them and we will discuss with them how they are working in Pakistan to give a boost to national economy, how they are creating jobs, how they are making a difference to come up with the ideas for green development. For this all purpose, we will be inviting different companies from Chinese companies who are working in Pakistan to discuss with us what is their future plans and what they will bring to Pakistan in the future. For that purpose, today we have our first guest from the Chinese company, Ms. Chin Zhang. She is CEO Pakistan Challenge Fashion Corporation Limited and she is also president of Panda Industry Association of Pakistan and she is a graduated from Shanghai uh, Engineering and Technology University and she has moved along the ladder of uh, his professional career started and starting from the sales department and she has become a, pre a CEO of a unit in Pakistan. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. So first of all, I just want to ask about your company. So what is the background of your company overall and when you started to work in Pakistan? Uh, our company is, uh, uh, our uh, mother company in China, its name is Shanghai Yuan Yi Industry. Okay. And then uh, we have uh, like our chairman form this company and to invest into textile business. So we have uh, uh, one production base in Shanghai one in Wuhan, and the third one is in Pakistan. Okay. And, and then... Uh, and this is the first outside the overseas unit? Yes, this is first overseas unit for us, and it's the, it will be the biggest for okay. us. And uh, from uh, when you started to work in Pakistan, so you remember the year of... I, I first traveled to Pakistan uh, is 2013, come to have a, co a company, our chairman, do the market research in okay. Pakistan. And then in 2014, our chairman in, uh, decided to invest into Pakistan. And then in 2017, I was appointed as the CEO of the Chinese operation, and then I moved to Pakistan. Well, that's good to move to the Pakistan. And you are an uh, industry in Lahore. You are uh, based uh, in Lahore. So in the last uh, the three or four years, when you started to work here, establish this uh, challenge, uh, challenge fashion uh, cooperation limited here, so how many jobs or how many Pakistani you have implied mm -hmm. till today? Okay, currently we are uh, we have uh, more than three thousand employees, and but uh, we only 3, have yes, it's a huge number because three thousand employees means you have given a livelihood opportunity to three thousand families. Yes, we are glad can can provide this opportunity to people because uh, we. Like with the work with the uh, Pakistan people, we find here people are very brave and very hardworking. Oh. So we should provide them more opportunity to bring like uh, to to g give them um, how can I say uh, let let them to have a better life. They deserve a better life. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say, "Are oh, Chinese? You bring your Chinese laborers to work in Pakistan?" No, in our yes, factory, to ask this one. we only have twenty six Chinese, including me. We do all the technical work and do the management work. But we have uh, more than 200 Pakistani uh, management staff to help mm. us to manage the company. And we have 3,000 employees. OK, that's me. You are not just only engaging people in the production sector, but you are also engaging them in the management yes, affairs. Yes, of course, of I course. I think this is a, 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 a need to discuss further because as you mentioned, so there is a lot of propaganda. So China is bringing their, uh, their uh, people here in Pakistan. So sometime I talk to them, so give the evidence. But when I'm listening to you, you are telling us they are from 3,000, more than 3,000 staff. They are all Pakistani. Only in the management, there are 26 Chinese yes, people yes. are working uh, here. Uh. Okay, so do you invest on their uh, uh, capacity building or to the, so they can move in the ladder of the, uh, their professional career? Yes, sure. You know, when we start to invest into Pakistan, that time we only have like a 300 employee. Mm -hmm. Now it's already 3,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are having, we, uh, we are bought 110 acre land in Lahore. Mm -hmm. And then we got uh, SEZ approval from the government. Mm -hmm. And we were going to build a very big textile cluster in Lahore. Okay, you are building textile specialized yes. cluster yes. in Lahore. Yes, so we are going to hire more than 30,000 employee over there. 
and create more than 400 million US dollar export for Pakistan. 400 million yes. and 30,000 jobs. That yes. is, a, I think in the context of Pakistan, this is very important. So the, are you expecting more Chinese com textile company to come into that SAZ? Yes, in our SAZ, we only use like uh, 50 or 60 percent of the land. Okay. And then the rest, we are going, our chairman is inviting a lot of like uh, uh, upstream and downstream uh, textile company to invest in. For example, we have the Young Spinner. It's not for the cotton, it's polyester. <laughs> so it's not really not available in Pakistan. <laughs> and also like uh, have a lot of button supplier, zipper supplier, and tape uh, mm -hmm. labels. Because, you know, more than 90% of the accessories Pakistan import from uh, all over the world. Mm -hmm. but you're not uh, producing locally. So oh, why you convert this into local? And also our textile uh, CZ, we also make fabric. Right mm -hmm. now we import 50% of fabric mm -hmm. from overseas. Okay. But if we can convert this portion, all made in Pakistan, can save a lot of uh, like foreign currency for Pakistan. And mm -hmm. then also generate more uh, jobs more job. for Pakistan. So we, we think it's a very good project. That's mean you are not just uh, focusing on your expansion of your business, but you are trying to build a supply whole supply chain yes. from raw material to the uh, finished product. So you are inviting more companies. I think that is a very good example how one, com how one company can make a change or how one company can make a difference. And uh, I think that is a brilliant example, Charin. You are not only focused on your company, but to bring more business to the Pakistan. And the coming to the next, when the more business will be coming to the Pakistan. So what is your plan to make it a green industry as the President Xi Jinping always talk about? So China is no focus on the green investment, green energy and green industry. How you will take care of that aspect? Yeah, so this is like uh, what our chairman's uh, vision about uh, our third like a uh, production base in Pakistan. Because our chairman is uh, 66, 7, 68 years old. Okay. He said before his retirement, mm -hmm. he want to make a very big uh, like a project in Pakistan, the flagship mm -hmm. project in Pakistan. Then he can be happily to retire. Okay. <laughs> so okay. this will be the best That's of technology. Someday I should uh, invite him. So <laughs> see, he has uh, some uh, good intentions and he want to make a difference in the Pakistani economy. Yes. We should interview him someday also. So you know, uh, our company in China, we have two big facility. Mm -hmm. They get, we get uh, like, uh, for example, in China, we have the green from the government. They give green uh, certificate. Mm -hmm. We are the n top four. They give the first certificate. They give uh, four company in whole China. Mm -hmm. We are not, we are one of the, oh, the that's four. A good yes, big news. and then also, and I know the whole rigorous and whole strict. Chinese uh, regulations are, yes. say they don't um, they take uh, anything uh, non-seriously, uh, they take everything very seriously. Uh, uh, so uh, that's uh, only, uh. I, I, I think viewers, that is a very good news that the Chinese company who has been awarded a green certificate in China, they are coming to Pakistan and trying to adventure in the green development of textile industry. So what will be you doing here? Uh, and also, we will use a lot of like a green energy. We will not burn, burn coal, uh, uh, coal. We will have uh, natural gas as energy. We will use a lot of solar power. Mm -hmm. And then also, we have some new technology in the pipeline, like a uh, uh, water-free dye. Mm -hmm. It's even, it's very new in China. We want to do it in Pakistan as well. And then we will have a very big facility for wastewater treatment. We make sure all the, uh, like, uh, the water discharge is being processed and uh, meet strictly meet the Chinese government, uh, Pakistan government requirement. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, this this is like our dream factory for our chairman. So all the fabric manufacturing will be digitalized. Okay. So in if you go the because we already have two successful factory in uh, uh, in China. Mm -hmm. We call Shanghai factory is challenge 1.0 mm -hmm. and our Hu Wuhan Hubei factory is challenge 2.0 okay. and Pakistan will be challenge 3.0. Oh. So each one have better technology over there. Mm -hmm. So in the here you go to die house, you will see a lot of people move around. In our factory, you only see somebody is pushing car to load the fabric in the die jet. Okay. The rest is nobody is over there. Everybody is in the central control room our recipe and all, all our like control of the dye, dyeing process is all controlled by computer. And we can even control the process from China. Okay. So it's a very highly digitalized factory. So you are not only creating jobs 
for the local people, but you are also bringing the technology. Yes, Tec yes. This is also very important because, you know, when I look at the textile sector of Pakistan, we are not that much uh, uh, advanced. So we need much more investment in the technology sector. So it, from this, you bring in technology, you are making it the green and you are creating jobs. So yeah, yes, and yes. The, my, and coming to our next question, so you are doing a very, I am really impressed you are doing a lot of work in uh, different sectors. So how you see, how you will be contributing toward the Pakistan economy, national development of Pakistan? You see, once we, uh, we bring like a foreign c investment mm -hmm. for Pakistan, right, to invest into Pakistan, you get a lot of foreign uh, currency and then we, we create jobs for people, then they can feed their family and then the economic growth will be there and also we pay tax. <laughs> so we, we, com we comply with all the government laws, we never do anything tricky things. Okay. <laughs> be honest, this no, no, no. is our chairman <laughs> wants us to be. <laughs> no, no, that's a, that's a good thing. No, that means from starting from bringing the foreign investment, you will be working to bring the uh, uh, foreign reserve through the export. Yes. I think that will be really helpful for Pakistan and Pakistan is right now is looking for the sustainable investment. So I hope Pakistan get the more investment in the coming days. So coming to our, the, I think the last part of our section. So how you are working with the community and how you are working on the corporate social responsibility? Because uh, when I was looking, the President Xi Jinping was very keen to instruct the Chinese company to invest the CSR in Pakistan. So how your company is taking a lead on that? So you see, firstly, we treat our employee very good. We provide the free free meals and free transportation. Mm -hmm. So whatever we pay to, they can use for their family. Mm -hmm. Not like other company, they need to deduct all these expenses from their salary. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly, uh, so there is a saying, charity start from the home, begins <laughs> from the home. So you are doing it. So CSR from your own with own your employees. That is a very good initiative. And then we pay like uh, if they uh, overtime, we pay double salary mm -hmm. on overtime. Mm -hmm. We pay PASI and EOBI. We mm -hmm. f uh, like uh, we fully uh, like follow the government regulations mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. do all these things. And then also for the other like uh, uh, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. our China company is making protection suits. Okay. So in two two uh, two thousand twenty May uh, no March. We urgently bring from the export portion. We get fifteen thousand sets of the protection oh, suits. We donate to the Pakistan government. At that time, it was very difficult to hard to find any. Yeah, we, we donate immediately. Our chairman say, Let, "Let's not ship to Europe. Let's give to Pakistan oh, free okay. of free of charge." And then also during last year, we had the, uh, Pakistan uh, had the flood. Mm -hmm. So during that flood. Uh, you mentioned I'm the president of Panda uh, Industry Association. So yes. we have six company in that association. Mm -hmm. And then it's all Chinese company. So mm -hmm. we, we come together, uh, we arranged uh, food, like a mosquito tent, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of clothes. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, ask our employee to bring these things to deliver to village by village to make mm -hmm. sure the people get affected by the flood will receive these goods. Okay. I think that is, um, uh, we have a shortage of time, otherwise I was just enjoying your, uh, uh, your response and your discussion. Uh, so your company is not only just interested to have some business in the Pakistani market, but Challenge Fashion has interest to bring the foreign direct investment in Pakistan, to bring the companies in Pakistan. I think that's make Challenge Fashion distinguish and are different from the other companies. That's why we have selected Challenge Fashion for our first interview. And I hope with your contribution, like uh, when you are talking about the new investment, it, there would be the 30,000 new jobs. Those jobs are very much required because we have a huge youth bulge. And you are also talking about maybe that this investment will, only your investment will bring a 400 million foreign uh, reserves, uh, the foreign earnings to the export. And I'm, uh, I'm quite sure when the other companies will be coming, they will bring more opportunity for Pakistan. Yes. So that means you have a comprehensive plan. You are not just trying to make a business or for, for only for your company or other company, but you are also trying to contribute in the national development of Pakistan. Anything this you want to mention want to or you want to highlight at the end of interview? So I, I, I'm good. We. Uh, like a chi Chinese people, we are always like want to show our work. So you will see this project happen very soon. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That's I, I believe. So Chinese philosophy is talk less, move your hand more. 
So we will, I am uh, quite sure. So we will see this uh, unit working very soon in the Pakistan. This special economic zone working very soon in the Pakistan, and we hope. We hope that it will bring more opportunity for Pakistan. Viewers, this was the, uh, our, uh, this episode. For more episodes, please follow our page, Deliver Mamtaz Digital and Asian Institute of Eco Civilized Research and Development. So, we will be bringing more interviews and uh, more companies to this desk so they can share their experience with the Pakistan. If you want to have any feedback, then please uh, give us feedback on the Mamtaz Daily, Facebook, Twitter, and other pages. We are looking forward for your feedback because your feedback help us to refine the program. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank Ms. you for your time. Thank for you. the time. I know you are very busy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.